barbecue ball food. We got turkey necks, neck bone, sausage, corn, potato, all that little stuff, shrimp and all that. So yeah, I went to the store today and I went to go get everything because I always want all my meat fresh in LA. I go to the meat store down the street like around Florida and I get my meat from there. I'm going to show you what I got. Hold on right quick. But right now my pot is um filling up with water. I got my pot filling up with water right here. I got it also because I don't want it to like have too much water in there. But I got my potatoes, my onions, the crab balls, the churn candy. Some sausage, y'all know we only eat that raw. Just the neck bones and the turkey neck. And all that good stuff. So, I'm gonna put my meat, I'm gonna wash my meat. Oh, you had to get some salt. You can take the candy. Tell them come get their candy. Oh! And we got honeycomb tripe in this thing. Y'all know I love it. Literally, my whole family like tripe. I don't know if y'all eat tripe, but we eat tripe. And we eat it ball. We eat it gumbo. We eat it. We eat tripe. This is a tripe eating family. So, you guys. I'm gonna cut up all my little um, onions and celery and garlic and all that. And I'm gonna show y'all everything what I'm putting in this bar food because we don't put no. Uh, yeah, get your candy. We don't we don't do that orange juice and all kind of other stuff that y'all be seeing on TikTok talking about Louisiana bar. Orange juice? No. Okay. But yeah, we don't put none of that orange juice and. All that stuff in there like y'all be seeing on TikTok. That's not no real Louisiana ball. I don't know what they be doing, but that's not how I do. That's not how we do that now. All right, y'all, so now that we have all of our seasons all chopped up and everything ready to go in the pot, next you want to start boiling your water. So today I'm using Louisiana crawfish ball. And I am doing two pots because um, my kids gonna eat. I want, I like, I like my ball food a little bit spicy, but I don't wanna get that spicy food to my kids. So they gotta be at home real. Separate 
I didn't even know I had this left over. This was a leftover pack that I had, but um, as I can see, my water not the color that I want it to be, so I am going to use this other bag, put a little bit in there, and then see how it tastes. Next, we're going to use Tony Satchel's. Onion powder. Black pepper. And cayenne pepper. I'm gonna leave all my lips. Oh, I forgot salt. And some salt, not too too much salt because you don't want your food to be salty. I got my pot on high. I let it get to a, a little a little ball. It's not gonna ball like bubbling up like it's on the on the um thing butane or butane tank, I think so. But this pot is the pot that you can put on on the butane tank. It comes with the whole set, but I want the ball inside because it's just for family. Just me, my mom, my uncle. I got two of my brothers here and his girlfriend. So not a not a not a lot of people here today that's gonna be eating this, so yeah. I'm gonna put up right quick, y'all see my yeah. I'm official, I'm telling you I'm official with this. Stir my pot up. Let it get down to a um, little ball, let it get hot or whatever, and then I'm gonna start adding in my celery, my onions, and my lemons. It water, a little orange, but it ain't it ain't all that looking orange. I might just add a little bit more water in there. And it is not spicy at all. Not spicy at all. Did y'all see this water? It didn't need no orange juice for it to be this color. I'm telling y'all, y'all don't need no orange juice in that ball. Don't do that. Don't do that. Taste. Mm. It actually gives you a little bit more seasoning, like a lot more. So what I'm gonna do is add some more of this. Let that do its thing, and then we're gonna see about this later. So I'll be back in about ten minutes. And then my water ball. And my small pot already starting. And my eggs just start on my small pot first. This already um it's already in this thing. Celery. One lemon in theirs. Two pieces of garlic. And a half onion in theirs. There's yeah, it's already it's already smelling like something, y'all. And this is the big pot. It's it's really big it's a really big pot y'all so let that get to boiling and then we're gonna be right back whenever we start adding the, the food i mean it's the, the not the food start adding the onion and stuff in this pot all right y'all so the smaller pot is actually ready for the food to start going in there i had to um open the windows and close my kids door because everybody's in the house shaking and stuff but we are going to start putting everything in this pot that is needed everything it is needed in here. 
gonna start adding that in. Y'all, I love celery. I should've got more than one cake of celery. I literally eat like ball celery, like, I like ball celery. And I like ball onions. That's why I put the whole onion in there like that. But this is gonna dissolve anyways, all over the pot, but I like to eat onions just bald. Might put it, I might add a whole another onion. I'm gonna add another whole onion in there. Cause I'm gonna eat some onions. So the first thing in the girls pot that I'm going to add is neck bones because neck bones take longer to ball. But in the big pot, we are having tripe. I love tripe. So tripe is going to go first in this pot because tripe take a long time to ball. I got my meat from a meat store called City Market. We had everything like bags up like that. I'm gonna put a few pieces of neck bone in there. We have really, really decent sized neck bone, so we just need four and one on a piece. We might not even eat all of it, so we'll just do that. Turkey next. One piece, turkey next. So they're not even gonna eat like the corn and potatoes and stuff like that. So I'm gonna put their corn in their pot later. So in the big pot, we're gonna start out by putting it in our tripe. Y'all see how high that tripe is? Tripe never used to be that high. Like everything just getting expensive now, y'all. So in the sink, we're going to wash and cut off the tripe because it comes all together like this and it's one big old piece. You don't wanna chop them up in too small of pieces because it does shrink whenever you uh boil it. So Cut them into like their sizes, like, like maybe like this big. That's a nice size right there.
So the first thing we're gonna do is put this tripe in here, y'all. Mm-hmm. And my hands are clean. I wash my hands 80 times in one cookie. What y'all doing with the lemons? I'm gonna try it. yet but I promise y'all the water is hot it's not gonna boil up like this pot because it's a bigger pot but I promise y'all the water is hot it's, it's very very hot this pot over here is rolling the little pot is rolling baby I ain't wasting no time it's doing this thing over here baby once this one start baby let that tripe get, let that tripe ball for like 30 minutes. And then, I'll tell you one thing, I'm going to steal a piece of onion on this part. Put that onion right there. Watch when it, watch when it, whenever it break up. Whenever that big piece of onion break up. But this one, yeah, I'm about to eat it. I ain't going to lie to y'all. All right, y'all, but I'm going to be right back whenever it's time to add the meat in the pot, in, in this big pot. All right, y'all, so now our pot is rolling. We roll it, so we about to put this meat in the pot. First, you know, we gotta start off with the neck bones. Onion. Eat that little piece of onion right there. We're gonna let that ball for about an hour. I'm gonna come back and check on it. But I feel like this part is not ready for its um sausage and corn. I'll check. Hold on. came off of there so easy like and that was a neck bone that meat seemed like it's finished yeah this meat coming off <laughs> yeah it's tender it's tender I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a piece I'm gonna get a piece of this one. Take this piece out and see how tender it is. Let's see. Let's see. I'm gonna do a taste test. This tastes like water. Oh, yeah. It's ready for the sausage, corn, and potato. It's definitely ready for the sausage, corn, and potato. It need a little bit more seasoning in the pot, but I'm not gonna add no seasoning in the pot. But it's, it's ready. All right, y'all. So my next step is to start cutting my world's best Veron smoked sausage. They didn't have um hot. Oh wait, when they started putting this in this, they didn't have hot. I normally buy hot sausage, so I had to get mild. Cause they only had um the hot sausage in the, in the packs of three, and this box was like twelve dollars, and the packs of three is like five dollars. So why would I? Get booking packs of the the, the links with only three in there. Whenever 
and I can get a box of 11 foil house. I promise y'all, this sausage to go up against any sausage in the world. This is the best sausage ever. To put it up against anybody's sausage, I promise you. Y'all probably asking, why she cut this in the sink? Because my sink clean. My sink clean. But don't worry about it, my sink clean. It's not actually in the sink. It's on a cutting board in the sink. And it, this is like the best view for the camera as well. I didn't want um, I didn't want all that stuff on the counter either. I think I should do all the sausage. Yeah, I'm gonna do all of it. I didn't want all that stuff on the counter either. I already got all the seasons on the counter, the pie balling with the um all the smoke all around it and everything. Yeah, it's just a lot of stuff. So that's done. I'm gonna add that to my pot. Alright, now so the girls' food is finished. They ate their food already. It is now 8 30. They ate at like 8 o'clock. So since my food, since my food, my neck bones and my turkey necks, they're now pretty tender. Now it's time to add the corn and sausages. But sweet corn in the cob. I love sweet corn. Like, love, love, love sweet corn. We're going to put all of them in there. sausages boiling in this pie. I'm gonna see this. Oh, a matter of fact, I could show y'all one in the girls' pot because Taylor didn't get a Taylor didn't eat the sausage. She my picky child. So I actually asked them like who do they want to eat? And they tell me. And normally whatever they tell me that they want to eat, they eat it. So you know I don't have a problem with get, giving them whatever they want to eat. I put my sausage in there and then I have red potatoes that I'm gonna be using. Um, I always use pota red potatoes for balling. Um, really, really good potatoes. But we're gonna put this in here last, maybe like 15 minutes before I'm about to put the shrimp in. So I'll be right back whenever. I'll be right back whenever we put the potatoes in. All right, y'all. So we're checking in, and I know y'all see how the sausage is floating. The top is hot like this. Y'all see that? World's finest. Bad on this. Bad on this. Let me, let me get a corn. Let's see this corn. Corn looks alright. It's still a little bright. Kernels haven't popped yet, so I'm going to let it go a little bit while longer. But the sausages can go in, but I'm going to wait to put my shrimp in because I want my shrimp to be uh, rubbery. I'm going to put a few potatoes in there. And let that we're staying about 10 minutes. Currently 9 o'clock, so I'm gonna be back at 9 10 to check on food. I think it was tiny. to the bottom so that they can get the heat. The heat, heat, heat. And, ooh, look at that celery. Ooh, let me get a piece of that celery. And try, oh, I'm about to take both pieces. Yeah, I gotta do this. Chef's kiss. You, the, you got, the chef gotta eat before, you know, the food done. All right, y'all, so we gonna do a potato check to see if I can add my shrimp in. I found a potato right here. Just stick my little knife through it and see. Oh, that's done. That's that is, that is ready, baby. Um, 
the best part for me is the boot de shrimp. Oh, I don't want to like that. Let me fix this. All right. shrimp turn pink baby that's done and you know shrimp cook fast 10 minutes 10 minutes baby these shrimp about to turn colors already i ain't even had it in for a few seconds they already turning colors you see that stop playing with me ah and look at the color of this water no orange juice what i told y'all no orange juice your ball food pot supposed to look dirty that's how you know it's a well seasoned. Your, your pot, not brown, muddy looking, and that's just straight seasoning with the earl on top of it. Yeah. Straight corruption. That's why, that's why they love Louisiana like that, because we could cook, we really could cook. But I'm gonna be right back, and I'm gonna show y'all how my food look after everything is done. All right, y'all, so I'm turning my pot off. Cause we don't eat that no more and we're gonna find a shrimp to see what it look like and i'm sure that it's done because it's been boiling for the past like 10 minutes if i could find some look at oh my god and look at that tripe right outside y'all see them y'all see the tripe is like with the hairs laying down that means it's finished like all the way finished like melting your mouth finish oh i see them shrimp i see the shrimp i see the shrimp i see the shrimp, I see the shrimp. Stop playing with your girl. Stop playing with your girl. Let me let me fix a bowl right quick. So I can make a little ah, yo, it's finished, it's finished, it's finished. Alright, so y'all. I don't want to get in the camera because I'm looking a little crazy. But you guys, thank you all so much for tuning into my channel, my new channel. I want you guys to like this video and subscribe to my channel, you guys. Follow me on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, all that nice stuff. Look at the shrimp. Oh my god. Oh my god. We about to dig into this. Oh, we about to. Oh, we about to tear it up. Yeah, it's. All right, bye, y'all.